Hi everyone, I am R.V. Kiran, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today, in this video lecture, I am going to explain the manufacturing methods of fiber reinforced composites. We have already discussed about some of the manufacturing methods and in this video, I am going to explain two major manufacturing methods of FRC. First one is the autoclave method and second one is the prepreg method. So this is my 14th lecture in the advanced materials subject series. So these are the different types of manufacturing methods that are used to manufacture the fiber reinforced composites. So first one is the hand layup, spray layup, filament winding, pultrusion, resin transfer molding that is shortly named as RTM, autoclave method and different types of molding methods. So in this video lecture we are discussing about the autoclave method and second one is the prepreg method. So which is one of the molding methods. So these are the two types of methods we are going to explain in this video lecture. So in the previous lectures we have discussed about the hand layup, spray layup, filament winding, pultrusion and RTM. So this autoclave method is very far different from these previous methods and also some more inevitable structures have been imparted in this manufacturing method. So let us see what is the different types of characteristics and what are the process of this autoclave method which we are going to describe in this video. So first of all we are going to explain the autoclave method. So this is also known as autoclave curing method also. So the, this is the second method. So autoclave curing method is a method in which a part or mold can be by one of the open molding methods. So these can be imparted in the regular die that is a split die and this can be molded by one of the open molding methods that is by using a split die method and this is cured by a subsequent application of vacuum and heat and inert gas pressure. So by applying the heat and inert gas pressure in this low vacuum space we are going to cure this autoclave molded part and the molded part is first placed into a plastic bag from which air is exhausted by a vacuum pump. So this is type of a method which we get a cycle pump and pushed the air into a bubble. So manu epodite e cycle pump launch wak pad the balloon gani plant you than tonga than the so our type of method and mata autoclave method manakin than time e murchuk poena pro chala taku space of pay just the can you put it mano Inert gas dwara heat and gani inert gas pressure gani prate regulate chest on tamo a gas motanguda padaipoi a volume ni expand chest on tamo. So this is done by the from which air is exhausted by a vacuum pump and this operation removes the air inclusions and volatile products from the molded part. So this can also remove the air inclusions which is a major part. So the air is the subject here and the volatile products also removed from the molded part. Then heat and inert gas pressure are applied in the autoclave by causing and curing the densification of the material. So then the heat and inert gas pressure are applied in the autoclave causing the curing and densification of the material only. So we have already discussed about the flowing of inert gas pressure and the heat into the molded part which is the vacuum region. So also autoclave curing enables the fabrication of 
consistent homogeneous materials also so this enables the producing of some homogeneous homogeneous materials such as fiber wood so these are also homogeneous materials and this method is relatively somewhat expensive to the other parts which means that is there is some complex parts which can we can assemble in this method so they this method is relatively expensive and is used for the manufacturing high quality aerospace products so these are highly used in the manufacturing of aerospace products so these are the basic introduction for the autoclave method so this is the line diagram of the autoclave method so this autoclave method is also known as a closed vessel method which is round or cylindrical in which the processes occur under simultaneous application of high temperature and pressure so this is the line diagram there you can see the bagging film which is compressed by the high autoclave process so this high autoclave pressure can be immerse the bagging film into the low vacuum pressure and next part is the sealing strip so by reducing this air tight uh, vacuum you can seal the strip on other one side and there is a prepreg and breather on the inside part of the area and there is the tool which is the molded part of the region and by the vacuum pump the waste gas or waste air can be removed from the vacuum pump which is on the right side of the autoclave image so you can see it in the image also picture also so a vacuum pump is created on the right side which the uh, waste air or include air inclusions can be removed from that part only so this is the basic process which we occurred when we are which we are used in the autoclave process so there you can define the high autoclave pressure or temperature which is on the upper part of the bagging film and this bagging film is somewhat the thickness than the other materials which is manufactured by fiber reinforced composites by using long fibers we can manufacture this bagging film and this is somewhat a replica to the balloons so we can see the balloons outside some th somewhat thickness balloons so this uh, bagging film is similarly applicable to that material also but the balloons are made of the rubber which have high elastic nature than the fibers next one is the process of generating this autoclave method sorry so there are two pictures there so first one is the picture already we have seen that picture in the previous slide that is the high autoclave pressure and the thin bagging film and a sealing strip is on the one side of the autoclave and next one on the interior of the bagging film there is a prepreg and a breather and the tool is inserted downward on the bagging film and a vacuum pump is created on the other end of the sealing strip that is to remove the air inclusions extra inclusions of the air so this is the basic process second one is the autoclave process to make a laminated composites so we have already discussed about the laminates in the previous lectures that is on the introduction lectures of the advanced materials so lamina means layer by layer so creating a strip by putting a layer by layer on one on the fiber composites so we are placing one layer on the other layer and we are treating it as a sandwich panels so by the difference between the sandwich panels and the laminates are so in the sandwich panels 
the thickness of the materials can be varied but in the laminate the thickness can be not be varied that is the properties can be varied or the materials used can be varied in different compositions so here you can see the different types of compositions used in these layers so and these are also different types of pre breaks of different orientations so we can use the different orientations here stacked so stacked means placed to form a laminated composites so different orientations means different types of layers have been used in this type of orientation so there we can see the cross section view of the laminated composites so all the fibers here are parallel to each other but the direction is different so you can see it in the indication symbols that is a b x and y so in the first ball first laminate that is the a type of section that is 0 degrees and in the second section b that is on 90 degrees so the short fibers are which is 90 degrees to the axis and third one is the x axis that is minus 45 degrees and last one is the y axis that is of the plus 45 degrees so that is of positive 45 degrees so we are turning the fibers into different modules of directions in the first four lamina we are doing this type of single laminate in the single layer so a b x and y then again we are repeating the same amount of laminates in the second cycle also that is in the bottom part also so total there are eight types of laminate composites in this section in this picture so first four is the a b x y and therefore there we are repeating the same amount of different orientations in the next cycle also so this is one of the example for the autoclave one of the autoclave material So going to the characteristics of the autoclave method so it is very high quality product so compared to the other process we get a very high quality product from the autoclave method because we are using different types of compositions here so to gain the quality so generally prepreex are morely used in the autoclave method so what are the prepreex so prepreex can be discussed in the later slides there we can see the detailed classification or detailed explanation of the prepreex next one is the chopped fibers with resins can also be used here in the laminates we are using only the long fiber but chopped fibers with resins can also be used to define the volume of the vacuum next hybrid composites can be produced so different types of hybrid materials can be used and hybrid composites can be used in the lamina reinforcement composites next high fiber volume fractions can be also be obtained so different types of volume fractions can also be obtained by this high amount of fiber by using high amount of fiber in the reinforcement we can obtain high fiber volume fractions and last one is the simultaneous application of high temperature and pressure so first of all in this process this is the main object by applying the high temperature and pressure so this helps in consolidating the laminate first one is the consolidating the laminate and second one is the removing the entrapped a and third one is the curing the polymer matrix so by using these three conditions we can easily apply the high amount of temperature and pressure so by applying high amount of temperature and pressure we can easily design the complex shapes where we can use it in the different modules
so these are the different types of characteristics which we can obtain in the autoclave method so by consolidating the laminate so by using the proper administration in the laminate composite we can define the high temperature by also removing the entrapped air entrapped air means waste air that is a waste air inclusions we can entrap the remove the entrapped air last one is the curing the polymer matrix so curing means r bit kodam so eppudaithe aripoddu poorthiga kuda oka solid form la avutundo so ee polymer matrix anedi kuda manaki high temperatures lo pressures lo use chesukochu so this is about the autoclave method process so then we can go to the second method which is the prepreg method So next method is the prepreg method, prepreg manufacturing method. So this name prepreg is the industry term for continuous fiber reinforcement. So when we are using the term continuous fiber reinforcement in the industries, we are using this prepreg. So this is already a manufactured part. So that is known as the composite industry term, which is used for continuous fiber reinforcement. so with pre impregnated with a polymer resin that is only partially cured so that is a fibers pre impregnated with a polymer resin we can be partially cured in this preprex and this preprex is delivered in tape form to the manufacturer who then molds and fully cures the product without having to add any type of resin so this is a pre prepared strip of thin volume so this is delivered in the tape form so these are usually delivered in the thick tape forms where we can use it as artificial method also so uh, it is a hybrid method so when we have to use it in the suddenly we are going to use it and this molds and fully cures the products without having to add any type of resin so no amount of resin has has been used in this methods of prepreg so this is the composite form mostly used widely used for structural applications so these are highly used in the structural applications that is in the lamina composites or concrete layers or different methods so these are highly used for the structural applications so there you can see the prepreg one of the tape form of prepreg so there you can see the different types of layers so here we have taken three types of layers so first one is the polyethylene film which is seen in the dark color dark black color and second one is the unidirectional composite so we are using the composite in the middle lamina so that is in the dark and vacuum space and third one is the silicon release paper third strip is the silicon release paper so these are the three types of lamina used in the prepreg so this is one of the example so not all the material has been used in this form only this is one of the example only so by applying the silicon release paper in the unidirectional composite we have obtained a 
thin layer structure called as polyethylene film which is generally dark in color so this polyethylene film is generally darkish in color due to its structural composite <laughs> So here you can see the process of prepreg. So on the right side you can see the different parts here. Which first one is the spooled fiber, that is the wounded fiber. So it contains two types of direction: one on the upper side and one on the lower side. Here you can see the on different colors: blue and greenish color. Next one is the waste release papers and rollers obtained here. So when obtaining a roller we can cut this by the doctor blade that is a thin blade and the release paper has been stripped into the sandwich panel so first of all manufacturing begins by collimating a series of spool wounded continuous fiber toes so fiber toes has been attached in this so by Wounding a spool wounded continuous fiber toes, we are starting this manufacturing process. And these toes are then sandwiched and pressed between the sheets of release and carrier paper. So, this carrier paper has been indicated in the green color here. And next, it is seen in the, in the final pregnated paper. You can see it in the yellowish color also and this carrier paper using heated rollers so the uh, the rollers have been obtained at such amount of temperature here so some amount of uh, temperature has been widely used in these rollers also that is called as calendaring so these heated rollers can be called as the calendaring also and the release paper sheet has been coated with a thin film of heated resin solution to provides for it thorough impregnation of the fiber so these resin have been used as the layered part in this type of rollers and the thin films section also which is spool founded fiber so these fibers have been attached in the interlink bonding of these laminates so there are different types of laminates here which you can see in the color combination first one is the green one and second one is the blue color one and third one is the yellowish one so there are three types of layers here and these wounded fibers have been impregnated in between the these layers next the final prepreg product is a thin tape consisting of continuous and aligned fibers embedded in a partially cured resin so this can be cured in the partially cured resin also so these are the basic process so there you can see the different parts of the prepreg model so first one is the first main one is the spooled fiber which is rolled different types of fibers and next one is the carrier paper which is seen in the green color which rotates on the clockwise direction and next one is the spooled prepreg which is seen in the bluish color which rotates also on the clockwise direction third one is the release paper which is seen in the blue color that is rotating on the anti clockwise direction here you can see two different types of heated calendar rolls that is known as calendaring so one one is rotating on the, the upper one is rotating on the anti clockwise direction and lower one is rotating on the clockwise direction and later we can see the waste release paper on the top of the it we can see the release paper and a hopper containing heated resin so these resin have been seen in the hopper containing heated resin and a doctor blade is used to cut the strip where we can define the length of the prepreg strip so this is the basic process of the prepreg module Next, going to the characteristics of the prepreg, 
these prepex can be stored at 0 degrees centigrade up to 30 degrees Fahrenheit or lower because matrix undergoes curing reactions at room temperature only so we are storing it at 0 degrees centigrade also the time in use at room temperature must be minimized so because room temperature gets up to 25 to 30 degrees in the winter season and 40 to 45 degrees in the summer season so we can use the less amount of time in the room temperature also this lifetime of the prepex is about six months if properly handled so if we, if we, if we properly use the prepex we can use it for approximately up to six months both thermoplastic and thermosetting resins have been utilized so majorly used resins are carbon glass and aramid fibers are the mainly used reinforcements so the commonly used reinforcements are carbon glass and aramid fibers next actual fabrication begins with the layer process only which is partially impregnating of layer by layer with a lamina composite normally a number of plies are laid up to provide the desired thickness so number of layers can be used on the different types of thickness layers and thickness have been provided with the desired thickness only the layup can be by hand or can be used in the automated process also so we can use it in the manual process as well as we can use it in the automated process also then these epoxies have been easily obtained from these types of process so the epoxy resins have been used in the different types of conditions here and different types of layups can be obtained by this method so this is the basic characteristics and we have some more characteristics on the next slide so depending upon the manufacturing it is prepared for packing packaging by winding onto a cardboard core so or a cardboard core roller we can use winding it to a packaging so yeah, we have already studied that prepex is obtained in a thick strip process in the market in the so uh, market so we have obtained it in only in the thick thin strip only there we can use by it by winding onto a cardboard core only then typical tape thickness ranges between the 0 0.08 mm to 0 0.25 mm so this is very thin part tape which is approximately from 0 0.08 to 0 0.25 mm then these tape widths range between 25 and 1525 mm so these tape widths can be ranges between the 25 and 1525 mm and only and the resin content lies between the 35 and 45 percentage of volume so up to half of the amount of volume we can use the resin content in the prepex and um, some more ingredients can be used with as the reinforcements so these are basic characteristics of the prepreg module used in this condition so these are the different types of characteristics we are used so mainly we are using it as the uh, pre-ordered module only which is obtained in the thin strip module so this prepare can be used it in the autoclave method also where it, uh, it is used as intermediate part uh, only there we can obtain different types of high pressure and temperature modules so by obtaining different types of properties there we can utilize these number of components into different types of characteristics and thank you